Hi everyone! Welcome to Tea Talk with Ayumi. Brewing financial conversations one sip at a time. And for today's video, share ko sa inyo ang limang tips kung paano maging successful. Number one, set clear goals. Make them specific. Kailangan yung i-define kung ano ang inyong short-term at long-term goals para alam nyo yung kung saan kayo patungo. And make it smart. So what I meant by smart is make it specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. So first, um, i-share ko sa inyo kung ano yung smart. Let's start with letter S, which is specific. Your goal must focus on one specific metric para hindi kayo malus track. And the specified niyo ibig sabihin alam niyo what exactly you want to achieve. Ang M naman sa smart is measurable, which means you must have a way to measure the content you publish against the metric. What I meant by that is kailangan yung i-measure kung meron bang progress what you're doing. Kung meron ba siyang progress, meron ba siyang movement. So you have to measure it and make sure na yung progress and movement na yun is in line din with your goal, of course. Kung ano yung, kung na-specify nyo na, i-measure nyo, make sure na palagi nyo siyang i-check and i-assess nyo if there are any progress or any changes papunta sa inyong goal. Next is um, achievable. You must be able to realistically achieve your goal within a specific time frame with the resources that you have. So, make sure nyo din na yung goal na isa-set ninyo, na i-define ninyo, is something that's achievable given on the things that you currently have and of course, uh, specific uh, mag-set kayo ng deadline or time frame. So, you have to make sure na achievable yung goal ninyo based din sa time frame na sinet ninyo. So, next is relevant. Your goal must align with your um, desired goals and objectives. So, kung ano yung naset nyo na objectives, make sure nyo na yung mga, yung actions that you're doing or that you're taking is relevant to your goal. Um, make sure nyo na dun talaga kayo papunta. Okay? And then, next is timely. So, same goes with achievable. Timely, your goal must have an end date or a deadline. So, mag-set kayo ng deadline kung kailan nyo ma-achieve yung um, goal na yon Be it short-term goals or long-term goals. So, yun yung smart, yung meaning ng smart. You have to think smart, work smart. So, second is develop growth mindset. You have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable kasi during the process, you will really face challenges, problems. So you have to learn na i-embrace yung mga challenges na yon and think of it as an opportunity to learn and grow. Para the next time, in case na you'll encounter the same challenge, you know what to do kasi you have already experienced it. I do believe that experience is the best teacher talaga. Nasa mindset lang kasi yan, guys. It depends on how you think of something. For example, um, binigyan ka ng challenge and if you're gonna take it negatively, which happens sometimes, some people take challenges negatively, like, ah, oh, problema na naman, kailan ba ito matatapos, ganun, ganun. They're just focused on the problem. They're not focusing on the resolution or siguro if they're focusing sa resolution, hindi nila masyadong na-analyze yung problem so they can just forget it right after they solved it. But, ang suggest ko lang or ang ma-recommend ko is i-take nyo ang challenges as a lesson. For example, binigyan kayo ng challenge. Don't take it negatively. Think of it like challenge accepted. 
Tapos i-analyze nyo talaga, isipin nyo, ano, i-assess nyo talaga yung challenge na yon para alam nyo yung proper resolution and also um, you will learn. Most importantly, na-expand ang inyong knowledge, nag-grow kayo from that stage, di ba? Third is take initiative and be proactive. So guys, opportunities don't come running to you. It's not, you're not gonna be served with opportunities. You have to go and look for it. Gumawa kayo ng opportunity. It's not gonna come to you like magic. Kasi, that's just not how it works, guys. So, if you really want to be successful, you have, you need to have initiative and proactivity. Kailangan meron kayong eagerness to look for that opportunity or to do that specific task and to make suggestions if you're working in a company setting and you know um, in a team you have to be proactive be initiative on achieving yung goals ninyo but that that, that applies in your um, like life goals diba? you have to be initiative because if if you're not if you're just gonna wait for opportunities to come, then you're wasting time. Number four is build strong relationships and trust. So cultivate positive relationships both personally and professionally and make sure to take care of that relationship by taking care of the trust na binigay sa'yo, be it your client, your mentor, your boss, diba? And surround yourself with people that you can trust, with people that supports you, with people na may mga goals din. Might not be the same goals as you, but someone who's goal-driven. Kasi if you're gonna surround your, your, yourself with tamad people or lazy people, then maapektuhan ka talaga. If you wanna be successful, surround yourself with the right people, with goal-driven people, build strong relationships and make sure to cultivate relationships and communication is essential with building strong relationships so you really have to communicate well and also guys trust is one thing na mahirap ibalik once na nawala so you really have to take care of that fifth is manage your time effectively uh, time is money guys. You have to manage your time effectively. You have to set deadlines. Isa sa pinakakalaban ng successful people is procrastination. So that's one thing that you really really have to avoid. Um, what The reason why it's because there are people that they can get it done even if it wasn't given to them in a week but they, they've done it like in two days or a day kasi nga nagprocrastinate like, sila. They've done it like a day before the deadline, but then that will affect the quality of what you're submitting or you're serving or the, the quality of of the product, diba? Right? So you really have to to take time. Um, that's the reason why you are given a lot of time to complete a task or to do a task in order for you to, to be able to think and time management is really, really, really important. I hope meron kayong na-learn sa video na ito. And also, please don't forget to visit www.gameape.cc Kung gusto niyo maging affiliate, pwede kayong mag-sign up to earn money. That's real money, guys. So, visit na www.gameape.cc And please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe Game Ape Philippines. Bye!